Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Ray Alvarez, Shoot With Ray, and the video you guys requested is finally here. I am at Colonial Photo and Hobby here in Orlando, Florida. I'm going to be renting a Canon camera so I can finally create the tutorial on how to sync and tether wirelessly a Canon camera with your iPad or device. Alright guys, so Colonial Photo and Hobby couldn't come through for me today. They didn't have the camera in stock. They didn't have any mirrorless cameras in stock, which is totally fine. Shout out to them. However, Andres from Art by Light Photography, one of my photographer friends, came through, came in clutch. He got me a Canon camera. Guys, we have it. We have it. Hold on, let me show you real quick. We have it. We have it. It's right here. We have the Canon camera. We're going to get to work. Let's do it. All right, look, Canon is a great brand. So is Nikon, so is Sony, Fujifilm, and all the other great camera brands out there. I'm not a brand whore. They all virtually do the same thing. The major difference is the interface and maybe some other beneficial features that these cameras may carry. But other than that, they're all the same thing. And in this video, I'm gonna show my Canon people how to connect most Canon cameras to an iPad or a device where you can shoot and then wirelessly tether to that camera and eventually review your images, just like I did with my Sony video and my Nikon video. All right, guys, what we have here is the Canon R6 with a 28 to 70. We also have the iPad, the iPad that I use for all of my photo shoots to review with the clients and the subjects and to just operate my business. All right, so first things first is it says EOS remote would like to find and connect to your devices on your local network. Hit okay. Canon has released a new application camera connect to replace EOS remote. Please use camera connect to connect your Canon digital camera to smartphones and tablets. So there goes our answer, our primary answer. This is outdated. We need to be using camera connect. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go download camera connect. Canon Camera Connect. That is the software that we should be using. So we're going to go ahead and download that. This application requires iOS 16.0 or later. You must update to iOS 16 in order to download and use this application. All right. All right, we're upgraded, we're back. Let's go ahead and download Canon Camera Connect. Perfect. All right, here we are. So we're just gonna run through the license agreement real quick. This app connects Canon cameras with your smartphone and you. You can import anytime. You can do remote shooting and expand the imaging experience. Let's get started. So we're gonna put the six R6, EOS R6. And it says that the connection method selection. So once the Bluetooth connection is made, you can connect the camera simply by operating the app. So we're gonna go with Bluetooth, which is what's recommended. The following permission is required, grant the permission in the dialogue that displays after next. So required to connect to the camera via Bluetooth. Allow. Let's go to camera operation. So we're gonna turn on the camera. All right, let's see. We're gonna to go to the menu and we're gonna move over to the purple network side. And we're gonna click Wi-Fi blue connection, connect to smartphone. and it needs a card. Let me go get a card. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, we're back. I put a card in the camera, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection. We're going to go ahead and click connect the smartphone. Select add a device to connect to. Select do not display. Pair via Bluetooth. Select pair via Bluetooth, confirm what is displayed. Okay, so we're gonna go back, exit this out, and go ahead, choose that. So obviously in pairing in progress, use the Canon app software on a, nip, on a smartphone, nickname R6 AVL1. That's what's showing up here on my iPad. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. Grant permission, pair, okay, connecting, iPad 6608, Bluetooth connection was successful. So now we can use it on the app, okay, we're done there. Here we click, we're gonna click okay. Now we're gonna shoot, so we could do remote, remote live shooting. So now we have a live view of my kitchen, uh, which is where we are, we're, we're filming in my kitchen, right? We're filming at home. Um, but now I can live shoot remotely, wirelessly tethered from my iPad to my camera. Uh, but that's not what we're here for. We're, we're here to review the images, right? We, we shot a, a, a few shots with our client or our subject in the camera, and now we want to review it here. So let's get out of this. But hey, look, this works, right? All right. So we're back on the screen. And what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to grab a quick picture of, right? We have them right there. As you can see, I just shot a photo and we're gonna import, we're gonna view the images real quick. We're gonna join that network. And just like the Sony camera, you have to join the network first, but I don't think that you'll have to do this again later. I think once you shoot a few images and you've already established that connection, as long as you don't turn off your camera or exit the software on your iPad, I think you should be okay. We're gonna put that to the test. So here we are. This is the first image I just took, my sample image. That's the second sample image I just took. So we're gonna back out of that. We're gonna back out of that. We're back over here. We can still function here. I'm gonna remove this from there and get another test shot. That's another test shot right there. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna check that out. Look at it right there, as you can see. All right guys, so as you just saw in the video, we successfully connected the Canon camera to the iPad wirelessly. You get to review the images with your client, you get to review the images you shot with your subject, um, all wirelessly, which is exactly what we did in the previous videos for Sony and Nikon. We finally did it, guys. I know it was a long time coming. I know it, it took a very long time to get this video out to you guys. And for that, I apologize, but I thank you for your patience with me. Uh, we've been really busy here working, getting other content out, and just making sure that this educational stuff is provided to you guys. Recap, we have the iPad. We've connected it wirelessly with the Canon. And it worked. You guys saw it. So let's do, let's do a quick, let's do what we did in the other video, right? Let's do what we did. So I'm gonna quickly take a photo of my setup. All right, it's gonna be super bright. I don't care for settings right now. I just wanna make sure that you see the functionality of it, right? I just took a photo of you guys, of this whole thing right here, right? Let me go here. And there it goes. There goes what I just photographed. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.